Hello and welcome internet. I'm your host Rito12 and this is the Death Wish Gamer. I'm back for more RimWorld. Uh, we're going to continue with our vampire run but I wanted to make some changes. Now the current one run that we have I'm going to put to the side for the time being because I feel that the current setup isn't ideal for the setting I kind of want to explore. So we're going to do something a bit different. We're still going to do our Vampire Lord, obviously, but we're still and it's still a medieval setting. What we're going to do here is we're going to eliminate all the um, factions that are post medieval. So we're going to get rid of these. These can stay. Then we're just going to add more of the other types. So we'll take uh, one of these, and one of these. So they just have more variety on the field here. Of course, no empire has its own results, but oh well. And we'll just call it Castlevania. Now let me know if things are sounding weird today because my cat ate one portion of the wires to my headsets. I think it just took out the left headphone, the mic and left, I mean the right earphone, the left and the mic, left earphone and mic are still operating according to my testing. So hopefully that's the only thing that got affected. So let's go move forward. And of course, another part of the rules is that I do not uh, build or pursue guns or anything like that that doesn't fit the medieval era. We're going to keep it there. Tribes are fine because, I mean, there could be tribes. Sure. Why not? For the most part, it is what it is. But boy, talk about a low time, huh? Any day. I mean, okay, there we go. Wow, that took a long ass time. So, cr created two of the same types, which is unfortunate. It doesn't seem like the game or the mod doesn't really comprehend. Uh, this gives a no number of name varieties, I guess you could say. But they're separate factions, which is going to make it a little confusing which faction's which. Of course, we still want to explore the Dark Forest build. Let's see here. There's, that's too much mountain. This will be interesting. We'll try this one. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and... Increase the radius. Next. Of course, we're going to use our pre made. We're going to make a little change here to make uh, Morbid the primary, uh, you know, style. Let's see here. Also, uh, the head wrap. No thanks. Everything else looks fine. Oh, well, again, no guns, so we're going to remove that. Let's see, what could we replace that with? Maybe a 
a chalice. That seems more fitting. Let's move that. And we'll oh, hold on, hold on. Let's add a a box. And the box will be called Heart of Darkness. Chalice of Endless Blood. <laughs> Chalice of Endless Blood. That works. Um, name is a little weird. <sighs> Call it... Steak. There you go. Golden steak. There you call it golden steak. And we're going to save it and move on. Okay, same thing as before. Um, we want a good vampire, capable of many things. Let's just see what we can find here. A sociopath. Nifty. Some good doc with good doctor skills. There we go. We're looking at something right here. That's workable. All right, so let's get our Igor character. Do we have someone that fits the Igor spot? Not really. So let's go ahead and roll one. So it got to be a cook, a planter, hopefully a crafter. Pretty much any the things that fit here: a cook, a planter, yada yada. Nah, almost. It's going to be hard to find all those spots. Cook planter. Eh, you know, this one kind of fits. He's an okay... He's a night owl. That's convenient. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can come up with a secondary one with that. It's a good cook there. I right, got some asthma problems. We'll move on. Hmm. There we go. Haircut is a little weird. Crafter, plants, you know what, this is actually what we want. Bit of a slow learner. Which kind of sucks, actually. That's a huge penalty. But she's a good start. So, we'll go with that. Give her hair color that fits better for her next time. But let's get started. Uh, this is good enough. Voice almost cracked there. Here we go. I have a steel wall right here. I did change the music, by the way. You might have noticed um, a little something there. Let's 
All right, looks like we have a suitable hut or building area. It's already been hall, uh, floored out a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out this here. Let's go ahead and designate um, duties here. So he's the cook, he's the grower, and smith. You won't be doing these or that. There we go. Oh, her sword. Right. And we're just going to use some dev commands to make the character match the aesthetics of the pinup girl. Let's see here. Uh, body type. Uh, that's normal. going to change. Oh, it changed her, her clothing. Uh, let's fix that. I can change the pond's color. I guess she's gonna be that then. Oh well. I thought it would be an option. Alright, let's organize our stuff here. Then let's move all the junk dumping pile here. 
for the stone. Get our rice plants going. And while we're at it, I'm gonna add some sleep time here. She prefers the night. Let's see. Uh, she's not a night owl. Got to destroy these manually. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our first uh, seating. hanging around. Might as well collect what we can. I was using timber. I used the wrong type of uh, wall, didn't I? Yeah, 
Yikes. Oh. Where did this thing come from? I will deal with these myself. I came from this high. deal with this hive. Oh, apparently a wolf tried to eat them. And I guess it gained their ire. They just blame me naturally. Go ahead and chop some more wood. Just clearing out the area nearby. There's even another one up here. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Wasn't the battle that it needed to be. I'd actually have a room done. <clears throat> and this rain. It's time. We'll just move everything that's uh, dissolvable in here. Cleaning the food. made a corner here. anything to trade.
here. Let's get us some storage. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I forgot to name her Igor. attack us? Oh. Something's coming at us. I don't know where that came from. Something attacking us? <laughs> Sometimes the combat music comes in unprovoked. Oh well. It's all good. Where's she going? Wow, she went far for that. Looks like she's almost done cutting down all the designated trees. That's actually impressive. from some rat. It drew first blood. That's impressive. I mean, disciplined by a rat here. Showing what's what. So let's go ahead and get temp limber, lumber done. Just gonna go ahead and haul everything. Oh, 
she's gonna go get that stuff. Lot to haul, lots to haul, apparently. That taken care of, I think hauling can be designated to Igor now. Let's go ahead and remove all the stumps. Castle. Theto store. Just call it Ravenloft. I'm not sure if that's the right spelling, but oh well. Did I? I took off Igor's. Okay. Yeah, there we go. A lot of excess stuff that needs to go. Oh, I guess that ruined that. Oops. You gotta be careful with that. I think we can make a kitchen here. Wrong one.
Hmm. All right, let's see here. That we actually should make a hill root farm. this guy here. Let's see, does he have anything worthwhile? Just a hood. We'll take the hood because that is what we need for our faith. Is that the last of the food?
Alright, let's organize our food types. Pretty summer, and they need warm clothes. Do that. Get some tailoring. Okay. I think next we need a prison room.
get some nice organizing done. Alright, looks like Igor can use more work. Let's see, what can we do for her? I have plenty of wood. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, you know what? We could use production smithy. Igor needs something to hunt with. We're going to do that for her. Right, so we're ready for our first attack. We might as well make two bows. One for Grand Seer and Igor. Got tailoring done, but let's go ahead and get into armor. Let's see, can we make a weapon for her? I guess we can only really make a knife or a club. And let's make a shield for Grand Seer. Let's see. Let's see what she does with it. Oh, she's making a steel kite shield. is just off by default.
Oh, I think we did pretty well for ourselves. For a good start. What we need now is some tanning racks. Let's see here. Let's build a roof here. Temperature. Oh yeah, I want some tanning racks. Yeah, 60's fine. Alright, so let's designate some recreational time at the end of the day. About three hours. Make some recreational items. How are we on food, too? Huh? All right, we can set Igor on hunting. How we can set them both on hunting. For animals. I think the northern boars don't fight back, so we can hunt them. I think four is more than enough. She has a ranged weapon. Ah, uh, I did that. Ah, she won't do it. Might have to do with the shield. Or that it's a sidearm. That case, maybe I'll have Igor drop her. Oh no, she's hunting. What is this? Oh, fungus. When did this come out? Actually, you have to like mushrooms, right? That's not a good match for us. Oh, I need a spot to put the boar bodies. I mean, she has a shield, so, and she's hunting, so I'm not sure why she's hunting and Grisir is not. Did I set it wrong? No, not really. Something died. Alright, we're going to stop making food with vegetables so that we can start stocking up on that. No, I said don't. Should probably get a door here to make things easier. Or toss the bodies further down. I 
We'll give uh, Igor a little hut here. So we can move this out. She can get a a better bed now. Just do regular doors now. See, this looks ready. A hearth tender. Let's see here, we took care of all of that. Rustic storage would be good. Hey, Beastmaster, how you doing? It's 
surprised she hasn't worked that. From meat. Wow, I did the wrong one. Um, from wood. Just installed another 50 mods low, waiting for the 39 minute build, uh, boot up. <laughs> yeah, it does take a while. Getting ready to escape into my little pond world. Yeah. It's pretty fun. What type of run is it? Just a normal do what you can run? Expired. I'm surprised we haven't got attacked yet. Of all my mods, I thought getting robots would be OP. Yeah, it's like my fourth save. <laughs> you get uh, a little distracted and want to do other things? Is that what happens? Like 20 hours in. Let's see here. So we just got s rustic uh, storage. get cooking done so it can do fine meals let's go to storage put all our rice in there have one for meat Masterwork Barrow. I don't know if we can manage such prestige. Alright, there we go. Still kind of learning. Lots more research to do. Yeah, it's a learning process. It's definitely not a game you can jump into and do it right the first time. Um, a lot of experimenting to go about. We need iron for this, I see. What's this? I didn't even notice that. This steel wall right here. Ruby deposit. Ruins explorer from house and voice. I don't know how I didn't hear about this game for years. Oh, well, it was indie developing, you know, developer, so it's not like it had a lot of uh, advertisement back in the day. Let's get some. Some more boar. Who's the... There you go. Can't wait for multiplayer. I'm going to save for that for later. Well, there is a mod for multiplayer. Multiplayer. Not sure how effective it is. With, uh... Over the internet. I'm assuming it's decent. I landlined uh, mine the first time I used it. Worked fine in that regard. Ring of Tending. A healer's basic ring slipping. Well, oh, that's interesting. 
So you, these are kind of like magic items. This gold necklace, embedded with a pristine emerald, offers a significant increase of wealth to its wearer and is often seen on nobles and merchants. Social impact plus 20. You know what? I'll just buy that so that in future... I have that boost. It's probably... Where's it set? Neck la necklace. Uh, necklace layer. Okay. That's interesting. You also got to go with uh, custom music. Hey, Zigra, how you doing? Oh uh, yeah, I'm running mods. Uh, there are mods. Should show what mods I'm running in general in the details of the video. Um, I forgot to add custom music to that because I just did it today because I wanted to add more medieval setting style music for fun. And they're all game music because I don't think you're going to get hit with the copyright thing if it's game music because game companies don't really go after you for uh, using their own, you know, making videos of their stuff, so. I probably should put note what games the music is from, though. Emeralds at, at. Yeah, it's a pretty damn good. I have thousands of hours on this game already. I'm doing pretty good. Sad I missed the last ER stream. Uh, but I was finally fishing, uh, finishing my 116-hour Persona 5 playthrough. I have heard about Persona. I haven't played it myself, but I hear promising things. Elden Ring. Let's see here. Where did I get in Elden Ring? I encounter, encounter Fia. Uh... At in, in the deep root cavern, I forget what it's called, but essentially, I I tracked down where Fia was hiding. Like right now, I have custom music mod, but I watch stuff while playing. Yeah. Uh, well, if yeah, I I would do that too, except that if I'm watching something. And it gets recorded, <laughs> and it go goes down the video, you know. Yeah, persona, but definitely heard. So I just have to make things interesting with music and stuff like that. There we go, our first attack. Took a while. How, what day is it? Day 13? Copyright strikes are no jokes on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, this guy's a full-fledged guy. Basic cooking done. You do Devil Strand. Yeah, let's go ahead and knock that out. YouTube is lame ever since Google bought it. Well, hopefully I this won't get strike. If if it does, uh, I'll just end the custom music. Alright, here he comes. I might just let... Uh, the caravan deal with it. Oh, he's running off of my money! He just grabbed the money and ran. That's funny. 
you do not take a vampire's money, I'll chop your legs off. Wait, video says part one. I thought you already had another other way to stream to this. It's a different run because I have. Oh, I killed him straight out. I made a change. And the change is. I removed all post medieval factions from the game. And the run is I cannot do any technology that's post medieval. So we're going to go with a real true medieval run here. What is the leaping mechanic with the rope? Well, it's a. So this character is a vampire, and the vampires have special powers. Uh, using their blood, you know, it's measured in blood, which I should just drink some of Igor's to refresh it. Now, I guess, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Oh, get rid of the sword. Oh, it's a pike. Okay, so that's uh, her new weapon. Medieval dope. I haven't gotten to vampire yet. Well, if you got the biotech mod, it's pretty much part of the game now. Still realizing how much I don't like the psychic system. Well, depends on oh, big lag there. Uh, depends on what type of psychic you're doing. If you're doing tribals, psychic powers can be pretty strong. Um, but if you're doing it through the empire, it's kind of rough going. What's this? Katie Sakura, prime guide of House Sorin, is looking for a safe settlement to take care of his pet, Angus Whisper, for 23 days. Whisper is suffering from paralytic abysia and must be kept in bed. I can get a recurve bow and a great bow. I can get Alyssa. Alyssa here is a miner and a tamer. A dirt mo. This is my first save on biotech. Still haven't gotten my high tech research yet. Oh, it's going to be a while. Um, depends on what difficulty you're playing it on, too. Because when I first got RimWorld, I refused to play anything other than losing is fun. And it took me a lot of tries to really get to the point where I could maintain a colony on that difficulty. I always forgot to use forget to use the mechanics like with the leader ability yeah that can be overlooked uh, rather easily because you rarely use it and in those crucial moments you remember do I need a tamer I guess we should go with that um, because the great bow probably couldn't work with my weapons as a sidearm the curve bow could I'm sure I always get the pawn yeah, I'm thinking of going with the pond too. Alright, secure. Let's see here. Oh my god, that's a huge ass animal. It's a bull. That's not what I was expecting.
And yeah, I always like to have pawns. Pawns are one of the best investments you can have in the game. Because they can defend themselves. They can help in things. I mean, weapons are nice too. But a weapon without a pawn is a useless weapon. I want to play on those harder diff when I'm more skilled so I can have more fun. In my opinion, I hate playing tons tons in a game and then realizing I could have done been doing this awesome mechanic or something. Yeah, um it's also a learning curve because you get a cuz you have to meet the get your pawns into a position to survive and the way you formulate your starting colonists really shape on the difficulty because of that um, learning the basic mechanics absolutely you want to do first but once you switch difficulties it's like you're gonna have to readjust uh, along the way This whole time the game was loading. Yeah, that's a lot of mods. <laughs> you sure you need all that? Let's get these stones out of the way. Probably go off, buy yourself some food at the corner store or something before you can get back. The thing's still loading. I have this infestation that makes my fast forward and regular speed the same so much. I'm shaking my head. Um, for some reason I always see SMH as so much hate. Where it's supposed to be, uh, shake my head. Shaking my head. <clears throat> well, you definitely don't want to ignore, uh, infestations. sent that. Make a chest. I'm gonna put my goat, my silver in there. I never read as love it love. That's true. It's just lol. 
But we all instinctively know what it means. <clears throat> Alright. Put silver in a chest. Makes sense. I think I'll just chop some s iron here. Who's my miner? Okay, Igor. Let's go ahead and give a round of cleaning. Okay, so the cleaning's done. Let's see here. Let's get alchemy out of the way. I've been staring at that pile of wood in my temp uh, temperate map with damn near no trees. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have a hard time with no with so little wood. But it depends on I mean, did you go with colonies or tribals? Colonists or tribal, rather. Been starting at the pile of wood. Oh no, even I read that. Sometimes I reread posts. Giant forest constrictor. I'm crash landed. Okay. Well, at least you can try to make a. You can do electricity as a alternative to using wood for fuel and stuff like that. Randy. Okay. I do not like that this snake is hanging out here. Eight progress. I'm going to tear this down now. The dire wolf was smart enough to not go for the vampire. This probably knows the vampire is going to kick its ass. 
This game would be so different with no electricity. Yeah? <coughs> That's what I'm going to try. This is going to be a no electricity run. Oh, I think someone ate my corpses. Cuz I was like, I never I never chopped the human and its body's just disappeared. But it looks like I'm going to have to look for food manually. Let's see where these boars are at. Okay. I guess I can add fat here. <clears throat> I need a storage uh, room. I guess I'll just do it right here. See what's Igor cooking skill? Eleven. Okay. Let's see here. In the ritual, select the Christmas tree. Oh, we have to build a Christmas tree.
All right, let's begin. Our unholy Christmas. Oh, the birth of the Antichrist. Let's hear some more of that voice, mate. More commentary, more view time. Just describe uh, what do what you're doing, like your little brother is watching. Well, if there's a lot to describe, I will tell you <laughs> because a lot of it's just uh, my character just doing research. I'm really waiting for more. What's it called? More attacks, so I can start capturing people, recruiting them. Right now, we just have a small little settlement. Um, let's go ahead and make that storage room. So they had fun at their little Antichrist event. Still have plenty of food. Is she not wearing her using her bow? That's why she's not hunting. When I put that uh standard pike with the standard bearer, uh she dropped the, the bow. I would, I mean, I would consider adding sidearms if you haven't already. Um, it allows you to have a secondary weapon so that you're not stuck just doing melee or just doing range. Alright, so let's uh, move all this stuff out. Just like that. I'll try to keep it up. Now I got Igor make, uh, cutting out some iron. So I can make a styling station to change the, ca the, the hair color. Because my character has very unnatural hair right now. It kind of irks me. Just a little for this type of a run. Put some dyes here. I might have to reload. Looks like one of these mods is broke. Ah, uh, after like half an hour of <laughs> loading? That's rough. It should say which ones are broken on the list, the mod list. Or you may not have loaded in the correct order. The rough thing is, is if you don't know which one's broken. Yeah, she got some nice weapons here, but I really don't need weapons, considering I have a masterwork longsword. Igor has a nice pike. We're pretty well equipped. We just need leather right now. <clears throat> Actually, we have quite a bit now. I'm going to put a tailor bench in Igor's room. So she has something to work on. Oh, you know what we got? Or we don't have ingots. Ingots. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and start equipping ourselves with some armor. For so sure, have sidearms. I just installed this we uh, dual wield. Can't wait. Got to reorder uh, reorder mod list. Damn. Hopefully that's the issue. Yep, you nailed it. Oh yeah, uh, I had. Because there's some mods that are very dependent on certain things, so I'm familiar with it. Dual wield's an interesting choice. Are you allowed to dual wield guns too, or is it just like melee weapons? I have a mod that puts it in order for, or is vanilla. I don't know. I have like 300. Yikes. That's a bit much. Um, one thing to do, I would definitely, well this is for any game, when you're adding mods, I would, what's the word, um, install them in small packs, I guess you can say, so that you can play the game, you can see it working, and you see that there's no problems. Uh, like Skyrim, for example, if you have like tons of mods on Skyrim and the game crashes on load, it's hard to know what went wrong. So, yeah, I like to, I like to install one or two, maybe three mods. Unless it's a textile. Textiles rarely have issues. Um, but yeah, it's best to find out, know what's going on. Let's do chain armor. I know that we don't have the technology yet, or the, you know, the ore to do that. Can you smelt? Where do you smelt? I'm still learning this mod, the overhaul mod. Okay, so there's a furnace. I think that's what I have to do. So I have to build a furnace. We'll build a stone cutting bench. You know what? That's what I need to do. Stone cutting. Uh, let's cut that then. We're down to our last bit of food. We're going to go ahead and hunt some more pig. Wherever it is. Where did they move? Okay, they're at the corner here. <clears throat> oh, one shot kill. <laughs> I don't like it when they fight back though. Took a hard hit to the ear. I installed batches of like 30. That's a good sum. get comments to see how many errors being reported. Sometimes you get like a list uh, a list of errors but the game still kind of runs. So it depends on how broken the game is with the mods. I might still play it. Crazy no electricity. It's doable. I mean I play lots of tribe games uh, so Playing without electricity, it's doable. 
And since I'm in this dark forest, it has there's plenty of wood to be had, so I'm not too concerned. So balanced, though, if your enemies are too. Yeah, that's why I remove uh, all the non or post me uh, medieval factions, because I don't want guns in my medieval run. I was doing one before this, and <laughs> some of my people had sh chained shotguns and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, this doesn't really feel like a medieval run if I'm sporting guns and all that. So, yeah. Oh, the fall is coming in. See, how much armor, I mean, how much leather do you need for the light Lamar? Uh, 75. Not quite there. For a second piece of armor. Alright. Now we can go with chain armor. I'm going to add uh, the basic uh, crafting, manual crafting or manual labor crafting and leave the artisan work to Igor since she has the best craft skill. But I do want things to get done in a timely manner. I mean the I mean the people saying on the comments my error list is like crazy. I never even pay attention to it so much. That's funny. Alright, let's start stocking our stone here. Let's see, stone blocks. We'll move them from here. Um, yeah, I don't bring sword to a shotgun fight. Absolutely. I mean, they're potent. Sadako's Arctic Wolves. A four-year-old child named Sadako is calling from nearby. She says a pack of three man-eating Arctic Wolves are hunting her. She begs for safety and offers to join Castlevania. If you accept Sadoka, Sadako, the man-hunting Arctic packs, Arctic Wolves will follow in one hour. All right. <clears throat> I mean, we might as well. Let's see. Let's uh install this here. Open up a door here, and we're going to. Should I fight the wolves? I probably could beat them. <clears throat> I just risk injury. Hopefully this kid can move fast enough before the wolves eat him. He has an hour head start. You have infestation on? Yeah, I can still get infestations. Because they're not tech technology related. Sadako is... looks like a tribal. But oh, it's a girl. Nope. She's just a normal person. Okay.
Alright, the wolves are closing in. Oddly, they didn't find me. One down. Two down. The vampire hits pretty hard. Ooh, Igor took a bite. And we took it down. Let's get these things out of here. Get it, I'm the beast master. Tend the wolves, boss. I wish I could tame them. Like, man hunting packs are. S they're. I don't think you can tame them. Unless you can. Well, even when you knock them out, I wonder if they still have. You know, unconscious but not dead. Um, if they still have man hunting. You might. I, I haven't. S haven't really paid attention to it, to be honest. All right, let's see what this is. A group of poor travelers are approaching looking for help. The travelers are begging for 10 uh, herbal medicine. They need the medicine to attempt a life-saving operation on a fellow traveler who was attacked by mechanoids. What are mechanoids? Uh, you can give items to the traveler by selecting the colonist and right-clicking pickles. Uh, I mean, I guess we have like 26 medicine. Basic medicine. Where's the kid? Oh, I guess I have to make a school for the kid, huh? Um, a blackboard. A school desk. Some rustic furniture. This map I got lucky with two self tanner bears and now I have like eight. It's great. Tanner bears? But need more tamers. Oh tamers. Self tamed. Oh, self tamed bears. Just got better quest rewards too. Nice. That's fun when you get something nice out of the self tame. I usually get squirrels or turtles. Alright, now that we have an extra recruit, we can up our... how much food we make a day. But I'm also going to have to make a new room. A little Timmy over here. Transport pod. A plank cutter named Harry is crashing in the transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he would be badly wounded. Harry is not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue him and hope he joins freely or capture him or for recruitment. Alright, how bad is Harry? Wimp, delicate. He has lots of skills. I'll take him. If he's a wimp we can discipline him. We can enslave him, essentially. It's just a bit out of the way. 
19 hours, he'll be fine. Let's first convert him to our religion. Oh, it's a genie, that's why. Genies are naturally wimps and delicate. It fits my Beastmaster handle. Yeah, definitely suits you. What's these guys about? Oh yeah, these are the people that want medicine, fine. Let's get them out of my map. Well, now that we have Tiny Tim here, we might as well make a bow for her. And a club. And a shield. Uh-oh. She's taking frostbite. Okay. Looks like the temperature's getting real low here. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. That should help her. She dropped all her equipment. So that's where that club went. I guess I won't have to make a second one. Might as well have a, let's see here, a fire going on here as well. can't take the hypothermia. Okay, no hunting. Let's just... We'll start cooking fine meals, actually. We'll suspend these. Oh, I guess we make eight now that we have a prisoner. I like to have about two meals per tribal, or per tribal, per pawn um, per day. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to make a fire in there too. Oh yeah, so let's go ahead, set recreational time for little Timmy. Okay, looks like everything's getting in order. Still need to get more clothing on Igor because she is freezing. And it's not, it's not even winter, it's just fall here. Let's 
get a fire going in here too. Does the disastrous cooking skill kill your previous run? No, I still have it. Uh, we actually recover quite nicely. I just wanted to do a different... I wanted to remove all post-medieval factions from the, from the game so I can have a true medieval campaign. I still have that save. We may go back to it at a later date when I want to try me the medieval mod with guns. But for now, uh, we're going to try it this way and see how that goes. Speaking of cooking, I've got the best cornbread waffle batter, batter made from scratch. By me, so good tons of spices and seasoning. It's funny that you mentioned that. The medieval mod actually adds a ton of ridiculous food that you can make. I don't know if waffles is one of them though. Let's see here. If you go to research. Got the basic foods, intermediate foods. We got pancakes. No waffles. Sorry, buddy. Alright, we can start chopping up the next... Next beast. Knocked off 20 certainty. That's a pretty strong check. Oh, a dire wolf wants to eat me. We can always use more food on the table. There we go. By the way, you live in America or Australia, maybe? Because it's 3.43 a.m. in Europe. Uh, America. That's where I'm at, Central Standard Time. So if I ever say a specific time, I'm talking about that time zone. some blood. Damn it, I was going to get it from Tiny Tim. Uh, to help sustain the blood requirements or the thirst for a vampire, I would suggest have at least two colonists. My research menu has like 18 tasks. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, as an Australian, definitely different time zone. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay, let's go feed on Igor and Tiny Tim. There you go. All right. Well, I mean, we have everything pretty much going well. I guess the next thing, oh, ah, nah. We need a, we need a, okay, she made the armor so she can wear that for more warmth. Probably not enough for her.
see, what else can we do to give her more warmth? Uh, we can give some... What is it called? Give me a moment. I'm looking. Pants. I thought there was like a leg level layer of armor that I can make. But I'm not seeing it. I can make a hood for her. We'll do that. Oh, it's it requires wool. Okay. Uh, I thought it was going to be like a leather hood. Let's see what a coif... Nope, it doesn't let you use leather. Which is weird. Arming cap? Maybe that's leather. No, okay. Stubborn choices here. Or we can make a vest. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, good day slash night, Deathwish Gamer and other viewers, but I'm going to sleep. Maybe next time I'll be able to see the live stream. Well, whenever you're available, be sure to drop by. It's no hard pressure. Um, can't be awake at all times, right? I think just dropping by. You have a good one. All right. Who needs warm clothes? Everybody. Oh well, there's so much, so much I can do. All right, food's going low. Let's chop the next animal. I think the one thing that they did wrong in uh, the medieval overhaul is that the armor has little arm holes. Uh, I don't think Rimworld puts arm holes in their pawn, uh, you know, art. So it's kind of like a little oversight that makes it blatant that it's not part of Rimworld. It's not blatant, it's a little small detail. Hey, Jam, Jammin, McCurley. How you doing today? Thank you for joining here at Death Wish Gamer. Are you new to RimWorld or just a long-time fan? <laughs> I love RimWorld. I don't mean me. I'm a new streamer. I don't expect you to be a fan. You know, for all the music I installed, I need more non-combat music. Uh, but I'm kind of looking for like more Diablo-esque sounding music. So once I find more of that, that'd be great. Oh, you know what? Since the kid's here, let's go ahead... You're not going to be fishing. Childcare is fine. Good. I like Rimworld, but never played it myself. Love vampires, though. Only second to the original werewolf myth and myths for me. Okay, so you're... Team Werewolf. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Reduce will... Normally I'm playing these uh, fox girl tribes, but I decided to switch it up because it was running a little dry. Let's go ahead and get a... Let's see here. A structure. Let's start getting a room ready for our new slave. What do we set them to? Yeah, reduce well. I would. I wonder how realistic Rimworld vampires to the actual Romanian myth are. If you are sim, if they are simulator, are similar uh, to, then I can help with vampire tips. Big monsters nerd. 
Um. Well, it's it's Rimworld's take on vampires. We'll just put it that way, because they do things. They make the vampire to where it's it fits the game mechanics of Rimworld. Um, vampirism is actually done through genetic manipulation and these nanites uh, nanotechnology and they infuse it into a person to make these vampire people and that's how they get their powers um, so it's it's just a different take on it I wouldn't say it's a yeah it's Rimworld Vampire if I recall the myth of vampires like many things originated in Africa. Really? I thought it had something to do with Vladimir, uh, the Impaler. Because he dined, he was eating dinner while he had, I don't know how many people impaled. And he, in order to watch the laborers got it done, he ate his dinner there watching him to do it and he was rumored to have drank the blood of the people he impaled or whatever I might be remembering it wrong but uh, I mean if it was I never heard of it it was in the 1800th century Eastern Europe I assume vampire as a myth have to be around since cannibalism really became a known thing Uh, I'm not too big of a historian buff when it comes to monsters, so I can't say with certainty. But did we make that vest? I wasn't even paying attention. Did you put it on? Okay, she put she put put the vest on. All right, so. How much litter do we have left? Uh, not much. Not enough to make something else. Let's see here. What's... A lot of European history comes from the Moors. Or, according to Seinfeld, the Moose. Uh, during Dark Ages, there was similar things in Africa, but they weren't vampires. But... Um, yeah, werewolf team. Team werewolf. Simply rather sim. <coughs> Excuse me. Simply rather similar, but major differences were there. You know, it actually reminds me of some Slavic um, references to blood drinkers, um, what may have originated the theme of vampires. If you play like games like uh, Thea, The Shattering, or The Awakening, um, they mention some of those uh, themes. Alright, let's boil some. So far, so good. I haven't had any major attacks. I know ancient China had the Zhangxing, also called the Hopping Vampire, though I think it's more zombie like and drains your chi by grabbing instead of drinking blood. Alright. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a search. I'm gonna put a pause reel here. Let's see. The origins of the vampire. Let's see what Google says. 
Um, so, according to Google, despite the occurrence of vampire cultures in these ancient civilizations, the folklore for the entity known today as vampire originates almost exclusively from early 18th century southeastern Europe, when verbal translations of many ethnic groups of the region were recorded and published. How did vampires start? How it's so cleanly defined, scholars suspect that the modern concept of these Holly Halloween monsters evolved from various tradition beliefs that were held throughout Europe. These beliefs centered around the fear that the dead, once buried, could still harm the living. Well, I guess that goes to... Who said it? Was it Zigra? Hold on. No, it's a Jamin. Goes to jamming. Points for jamming. Oh, hold on. Someone's at my door. So I'm going to let this run a little bit. I'm going to put the headphones down. Be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Ignore any voices you hear in the background. <coughs> they're not here. It's the feds <laughs> for looking at vampires. Yeah, they came for me. They're very considerate that they knock first. Man, this this thing's been here forever. Uh, departing on shutter shuttle for in 12 days. Still another 12 days of this thing. Hey Rooster, how you doing? McCurley, um, there are a lot of separate places seem to have similar creatures despite little contact. It seems like it's almost human nature to come up with such themes. Alright. So we have, I'll say about 20 stones here. Let's get them chopped up. We have 40 pork left. The human mind in its nat uh, nature thinks similarly. It's how we work. That's why humans are so predictable. Just got an aesthetic mawar. Easy prisoners. Oh, you can use it as a weapon now? Visitors. Because you can use anesthetics um, already, you just have to use a med, uh, herbal medicine. It's part of s the surgery process. Oh, I think these, this raccoon's eating my wolf. Uh, human nature is based off material conditions, in my opinion. Oh, I mean, we're all human have the same fears and concerns and needs in our daily lives. Mm. Weaponsmith from House Soren has arrived. I really don't have any need for weapons at the moment. Plus, how much silver do I even have? A thousand, roughly? It's... Nah, nah. Um... Asia and Europe both had dragons, but they were incredibly different. It's on a gun and trank gun and turret. A turret? Shooting anesthetics? Yikes. Self-reloading traps is a must. Yeah, it's brutal uh, refu uh, rebuilding traps every time they get used up. But let's see here. 
Chinese dragons are wise, snake-like creatures and majestic, while European dragons are fresh, brash, angry, brave, and evil and are like a big eagle. In China, you would want to see a dragon in Europe, you fear it. Um, in Mod Heaven, with this new batch, I downloaded a Love Mod Save Edition. <laughs> well, I don't know if you need that. Um... I don't think you need a mod for that. Hold on, I have another another group now. This is oh, that's the weaponsmith. Who are you? A traitor. Okay, let's see what the traitor has. And let's go ahead and chop up that wolf. Mid save. Oh, it has uh, clothing and phoenix armor, apparently. Yeah. Um. I don't see any clothes that I really need. Uh, it seems like I couldn't get rid of all the technology in the game. Because um, they're still selling post-medieval. Like they even left the revolver. But I'm just going to leave that on the ground. Let the nature take it. Rewarded fighting. Let's see here. Uh, Tammy's quote Zappy Wit Riggs, holy minister of House Amboys, wants to help you to help save one of the, her caravans. The caravans being hunted near Castlevania by imps from Ketsovi. Ketsovi. Zippy wants you to signal the imps to draw them away from the caravan and towards you. It makes nine of them. Uh, imps are the vampires. Greatest enemy. I don't think I'll deal with that. So I'm going to skip it. That's a six star encounter too. Um, considering those things forbidden by thine gods. Of course they are. Such as the story of Ying Long. Guiding the yellow emperor to defeat, to defeat Qi. Using blessings of wisdom and rain rather than combat. Well, I can definitely say I ha I'm not too familiar or understand uh, Chinese culture, especially from that era. There's a another game, kind of similar to RimWorld, but it focuses around Qi and all that. I, tr I wish I could remember the name of it. Um... <laughs> But there's like people just don't know what's going on in the game because uh, it's like a big mystery or how they set it up. So we have a manhunting pack. Let's see where they're at. Oh man, they're getting swarmed by rats. Is that it? Not much of a challenge there. Uh, the greatest enemy of vampires is children of the moon because they make the moon brighter, which burns the vampires. You know, that's an interesting thing I always, uh, I was trying to work on a, you know, a, like a tabletop RPG medieval setting campaign, right? And I was trying to, uh, formulate, uh, how to implement vampires into the setting. And I kind of figured out that they would naturally be from the plane of shadows or you know the you could, you could call it like the, the the darker theme version of the material plane uh, because and on that side of, of the cosmos I guess you could say uh, the sun is too pale and weak to do harm to vampires there's a natural place for them to be but anyways that's a sidetrack there 
They also are the ones who kill a vampire without breaking their heart and soul. I never heard about that. Is that actually, actually a thing? Did someone just kill this... I'm, gonna, okay, I'm killing this record. Oh, I think the snow's coming in. Alright, let's see how Harry's doing. Not quite beat down to submission, but we're working on it. They're forgotten when Western Europe adopted the Romanian myth. It's crazy Twilight was based off a true story. Really? I didn't watch Twilight because, well, it was more geared towards a female audience. Um, so I stayed away from it. Just, okay, thank God. I'll be, I, was, I would be shocked that was true. Because they sparkle and all. Here we go. Enslaved. Alright, Harry. Let's see what your skill sets are. Not talking to children, that's for sure. Oh yeah, cook. You're a builder. And you can grow stuff. So we'll go ahead and put you in that area. Oh, but most importantly, you are a crafter. So we'll put you in that category as well. But I don't think we need to spend Grand Seer uh, doing manual labor anymore. Oh, we do need... That's one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to change the ideogram into a an altar. Uh, we don't have steel. Well, we can probably get more. Which means if I want to, to ancient Romania, I would probably be killed and burned on a bonfire. I don't know why I said want to, went to. Why, do you look like a vampire? <laughs> Are you like that pale or something? I mean, they did a lot of crazy things back then. Um, uh, also, drowning uh, left handed people or uh, demonizing them. Yeah. Yeah. Buddy. Well, looks like a safe time in the rim. It's been brother. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, yeah, it's on losing is fun. I've just been wondering why is this haven't been too challenging yet. Uh, the myth of Children of the Moon was made because Romanians thought albinos were cursed by the moon. Oh. Because they have that same pale surface. You should get the mod to have murder holes in the walls. I think there's... Let's see here. Structure. 
Is that the uh, embrasures? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. What's the research? I know there is a architecture. Let's see. Is there? No, that was from stone cutting, huh? Um, that opened up castle walls and castle wall embrasures. Embrasures. That's about it. That's the only type of walls that it provides. Maybe it's time to start building my grand castle. Music's kind of loud, I guess. Hey, let me know if the music's too loud. Guess it's time to go hunt again. Oh man, they're on the other side of the damn map. Got this one stray out here. Come to feast on you. Oh man, I think it's leaving the map actually. That's right. Give me a ooh, a nice beating to the neck. Ouch. That's dangerous. Oh, why is he down? Oh, you know what? I haven't set... There you go. Oh my god, he's freezing to death in here. Oh, she's not bleeding anymore. Here, let's uh, let's get the fire going. So he's just gonna get more wounds as time goes on. Yeah, winter's pretty brutal right now. Hey, stop eating that. That's mine. They're all eating my food. Well, that's a great way to lure. And uh, Henry's down again. Or Harry. Hey, you know what? You just stay in bed. How's that? You should get the mod to have more... Oh, I read that already. So you can get up. That's a lot of beating. Infection. God damn you. These slaves are always dying on me. Alright, let's get him total bid rest at the moment. You'll probably have a better 
skill check next time when Grasir is a bit healed up. Did that pig just come out of nowhere? I leave this door open. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and designate a creational time for Harry. Oh, do we have any night owls? I should. Uh Check in on that. Oh, he's natural, huh? So he can meditate at the anima tree. Let's go ahead and make a passage there. So he can meditate. Give him psychic abilities. Assuming he doesn't die to my ne negligence. Which most slaves do. If I was to be honest. See the next skill check. 56. A lot better. Mm, the rice is starting to run out. And we're day... 15th in fall. We're still fall. Winter is going to be a cold one and a brutal one. We're going to have to make a bigger farm moving forward. Uh, has she, does she need a drink of some blood? Might as well be him. Still chopping stone. Just kind of waiting for things to happen. Three, four. My god, my cat's all over my arm right now. thing about these cold climates, climates is that you can hunt a lot and the corpses stay fresh. And winter has begun. We're getting research done. I think we're doing, yeah, chain armor. We should make a smelter so that we can start making metal armor. Uh, we could go as much as plates. I do not have nothing else to really do. 
get all the good stuff done. I think, oh, okay, you know what? I think there's a uh, archery, right? I haven't really done that. Crossbows, arbalists, where's the bows? Oh, there it is, recur bow. Let's get that done. We could use bows. Oh, we got colonists started doing nothing, huh? We're that efficient. Let's go ahead and chop up some more. I guess there's really not much to do. Still waiting for more leather. Oh, we got enough pigskin to make light lamellar. Oh yeah, we want to make a forge, right? So let's uh, start chopping down this down. Struck coal oil, or coal ore, whatever that is. Maybe just coal is what it means to say. Oh, this rat's eating my food. I cannot stand for that. Psyche. That's three out of four of our colonists. And the giant yak still has 7.5 days to go before we get rid of it. like the room for our smithy or our smelter room is going to be done. You might as well put the, the smithing room in there, or the smith, smithy uh, workstation in there too. Well, I guess if it's smithy, you want 
we want the floor to be stone. How much stone do we have? A lot of limestone. I guess we use that. Best next. Good are we on rice? Uh, still a bit. Ah, uh, the pigs have returned to eat my food. I have to say, just leaving these bodies out is an easy way to get more food. Death rest exhausted. Okay. Looks like I have to put her to sleep for a while. Let's go ahead and let her sleep. She takes a long nap. Let's see, that's like four days. Risky, I expect we're probably going to get attacked during that time. See how this is going. Still a while. Okay, so the smithy room has been made. We'll move this over here. Put a real chair there. And let's see here. Stone hearth for warmth and homing atmosphere. No, not that. I think it's under the production area. Smelter. Stone smelter used to refine scrap and raw resources or cremate dead. So, that's what we're putting here. How does that... It's on the left. I just got snap out mod and my mental breaks already being mitigated by other pawnies. Dope. Mm. Well don't don't be negating all the difficulties from the game. If you really truly want to uh experience the game on harder difficulties if you negate everything then where's the difficulty okay let's see here unless all you really care about is the combat like that's the only difficulty you're looking for is in the combat everything else I can see being too frustrating 
Uh, Shaman Merchant has arrived. Avenger pers uh, Machine Persona is threatening to the subjects of House Florin. Prime Guide Katie Sadu Sakura wants you to send a message to the Persona accepting responsibility for their transgressions. If you do, the Persona will turn its anger on you. Force the weather in Castlevania to be rainy s for 13 days. Hmm. I'll think about that one. Oh, we use timber, since we have so much timber. Oh, yeah, our vampire's out, so... Oh, they're already leaving. Oh, man, he's moving fast. I don't think I'm catching him. He wanted to get the hell out of there. So much for having a traitor. This just fits my plan style. It's a storytelling game after all. Alright. Oh, everybody does their own thing. Okay, so they're actually putting stuff in there. don't have a desk have to play on laptop screen a few feet away hard to keep up and be comfy yeah I don't find playing on the laptop too comfortable either oh we used the last of the meats let's go ahead and chop some more we're down to our last stack of rice and we're only day three of the winter What are, what's our research again? Uh, bows. Okay, so chainmail is where we're going to put it for the time being. I have to start cooking simple meals once again. Like my pawns wanting to give up over no table. That's a war crime. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of memes about the, the difficulties a pawn must endure for not eating without a table. Or eating without a table. Um, and there's even a genetic <laughs> uh, perk to where they have evolved to where they don't get angry from not eating without tables. So they even acknowledge the silliness behind it. But, you know. But you should have tables anyways. Uh, at a certain point. Let's go ahead and add more chairs to the table. Oh, you can probably put the hemogen in there. Mm -hmm. 
wonder if I have to store the coal. Oh, the rats are getting closer now. They smell the food. Alright, so let's see what goes into making... We're not going to make short bows anymore, or clubs. Let's see. Let's make a heavy hu hauberk for our vampire lord. You need a hundred mats. Obviously, we're not going to have steel. Iron's the best thing to go. We're still uh, mining our way through the mountain here so that. Harry can have a place to meditate. So we can get him psychic abilities. I have no n no steel, known world, no places near me to trade, no armor. Like, definitely not cheesing it, this map. What type of map did you pick? Alright, we still got 1.7 days for our Vampire Lord. We have only 14 rice left, which means we can make two more meals. Well, no, no, all the bushes with the berries have withered a bit. It says they can harvest. No, no. Maybe. Oh, it's, it's still bastards eating my food, isn't it? Look at our leather. No, nothing special there. We can make some boots and an uh, outfits or something. Why are you yelling at me for, Athena? All right. Well, we hit the three-hour mark. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night here because I'm getting pretty tired. Thank you for joining me here at the Death Wish Gamer. I'll be running RimWorld Tuesday, Thursdays at around 6 Central Standard Time. So be sure to catch me then. Um, if you're looking for some Elden Ring play, I play that on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Oh, and I play RimWorld on weekends as well. So, anyways. Temp forest, but no trees. No trees in a forest? Side of mountain with river near it gives me a little long cove huh well that's an interesting build um, it might be the mod if you took a valley uh, yeah they, they have very limited space but anyways you have a great night I'll see you next time uh, 